All right, let's finish up this toaster by adding a few um, materials to this. And uh, let's go on the front view. I'm going to select everything and bring it up to here. I'm going to bring in a plane. I don't know why it showed up down there. in the background so we'll see how this goes let's bring in a sun lamp and a camera would help and then lock camera view let's look through the camera I'm going to press the home button, that kind of thing. Okay, let's, um, let's do this. Let's put in a world, an environment. I'm going to click the world there and use nodes. Click here and choose environment texture. And here I'm going to open an HDR image. Just find something on the internet that you like. I like this uh, veranda one. All right, so we have a look at that. We can see uh, like our toaster sitting outside. Cool, okay, now uh, let's take the plane, look down, and I'm gonna go into edit mode and hit U and project from view bounce. I'm gonna split my screen and press T and T, and switch this to the UV editor, and, uh, and then I get rid of that. Okay, so I have a square, the whole size. And I'm going to open up, um, wood texture, just a typical thing that I got from the internet. And um where is wood? Wood. I don't know which one. This one let's say. Open. And in order to get it to show up here, I'm gonna switch over to the node editor. And I'm going to make a new material for uh, this plane here. We click new and I'm gonna use the principled shader there just connect that to there and uh, over here I'm gonna go shift a texture image texture and I'll connect that to there and I'll find my wood texture and I can see it um, let's um, also maybe, um, maybe I'll go control T and that'll add the uh, mapping notes. And uh, let's go to the UV image editor and go in. And let's rotate 90. Okay, cool. And we'll come back to here. And I'll take this Shift D, I'll duplicate it, but I'll switch it to non colored data. And I think I can just. Uh, Put it into into here, and that might give me something. Although I don't know if I want it in there. We'll see. Maybe I do. All right, let's go back and uh, let's make this 0 0.3. Okay, let's uh, do some materials for the toaster. Let's select the toaster and new. just really basic guys really basic because that's the best I can do I'm gonna switch this to sort of a, a bluish tinge and a bit darker maybe not that blue <clears throat> maybe 0 0.6 we'll try that and 0 0.2 I'm just gonna try different things oh yeah on my son by the way I want to switch that to 0 0.4 and the strength to maybe 4 to we'll try a 3, I don't know. Let's have a look through the camera. Okay. Let's come back to this. Let's make it a bit wider. Uh, maybe, no, maybe just a bit lighter. Okay. And, um, 
let's take this thing. And sometimes what I like to do is I like to take my lights and camera and even plane and move them to another layer. So I just have my model stuff there. Oops. Okay, let's take this and materials. All right, just click new and just do it again. I'll go here, but I want to make this block. And metal 0.3 maybe. And roughness 0.32. Also, I mean. Uh, but uh, and this is going to be block. And this one is metal. Okay. But I'll do a bit more on this. <clears throat> Let's select these faces. <clears throat> and I'd inset. And uh, E scale X. And control B, then I'll put a couple of segments in there, <clears throat> and then I'll shift alt and click that edge and this edge, and we'll bevel those. Control B, put a couple of segments. Not worried about polys. Um, <clears throat> the reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to select that and that, and I'm going to go control plus a couple times, a few times. How far do I want to go? Maybe one more at the plus and choose that metal and sign there. So I get it like that. Okay, so what did I do here? <clears throat> what did we do? Let's delete that face and see if I can just rebuild it. Oh, it's crossed, I'm gonna scale it. Nah. Okay, I take it back. Let's uh, delete those faces and see if I can uh, do something here. Oh, not that, it's not twisted. Do that. So, so I'm just using end guns and sign. How's that look? That it look okay there. All right. So what we'll do is we'll split this down the middle <clears throat> from the front, and we'll mirror it. Choose that block there for this, and I want all these to be black. And uh, let's switch over to material. So that's block. So let's go in here and select that, and then come out a ways. I think just to there. Control minus to come back. And let's make that, that metal. And let's, uh, for this, let's just do basic. Yeah, just something like that. Maybe I'll take the bottom here, though. And shift alt and click there. And plus up a couple times till I get to there. <clears throat> I think I'm going to make that black as well. And I may have to tighten that up with an edge loop to push it in a little bit. Let's not forget this piece here. I'll make that metal. And now, um, let's look through the camera. And let's get my layers back. And do a quick look. Okay, you see? Hope that edge is okay. Where am I? Yeah. Okay, and uh, quick remove doubles in case. 
Okay. Um, yeah, <laughs> pretty exciting. Uh, let's have another look here. You know, might have to do something with that, but might not. You can make this into a better table, but I think I'll just set up for a quick render and we'll have a look um, at that.